Hello everyone and welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. Today we're going to practice the small intestine flow. Last week we did the heart flow and so this one is the next one that comes into being as the organ flows uh, begin to manifest. So um, again we start on safety energy location 11 but before we do that, um, by the way if you have the art of gentian we're going to follow that and in the core, it's presented a little bit different. Uh, I adjusted it slightly in the art of Jinshin for self-care. So following the art of Jinshin, we will hold our 19s. And the 19s are located right here. So you can um, place your thumbs on the inside and wrap your fingers around or hold it like this. Wrapping your fingers all the way around, whatever feels comfortable on the 19s opening up your waistline and then just take a few breaths here so in the core the 19 comes a little bit later but it's not possible to hold your right 19 with your right hand so for self-help let's just open up our waistline right from the get-go 19s the waistline are great to open up uh, anyway for any kind of beginning of your practice because it allows for the energy to descend as well as ascend and connecting heaven with earth, connecting spirit with our body and sometimes our waistline, our human beingness, our individual energy uh, gets stuck right here in the middle. <sighs> Just take a few breaths, dropping our shoulders and feel the breath moving into your lower abdomen starting to relax your body and feeling the energy beginning to move very nice maybe your hands are getting warm already and maybe it will take a few moments before the energy starts to move for you or before you become aware of the movement of energy. One more nice big exhale and then gently take your hands up to 19 and moving into 11 and opposite 13. So this is a great flow for sore throat and if you have a sore throat just check both your 13s and stay on the one that feels more tender. Actually for me it's this one so I'm going to practice the other side. So 11 and opposite 13 will help the throat on the side of the 13. So if you feel your throat tender on this side, you'll want to practice um, holding this 11 and this location number 13. 11 helps us to unload and 13 harmonizes our emotions, our feelings bringing out the child ego state, our creativity, reproductive needs, wonderful uh, appetite balance, and descending energy, allowing for the exhale, while the 11 allows for the inhale. So exhale with 13, inhale with 11. Let's take a few breaths here. And this is just four simple steps so easy to practice small intestine flow. Small intestine flow peaks between four, 2 and 4 p.m. in the afternoon. And so if you feel low at that time or um, anything going on at that time, you feel all of a sudden a little dip or tired, then you can practice the small intestine flow before 2 p.m. So you give it the energy that it needs to peak properly. The emotional attitude is trying too hard or efforting, so the small intestine will calm it down, bringing us into the present moment and allowing for our authentic selves to shine through. One more breath and then let's gently take our hand off and we'll place it on location number one, which is located on the inside of the knee. So now we're on the 11 and 1 on the same side here. Um, 11 and 1 allowing us to move forward in life 
uh, spiritually and digestively and physically. Look, it's located right here at the joint. And so that's what we walk with, right? Um, with, or with our knees here, having this movement in our one. So, Institute, I will ask. <laughs> Tanya is editing her previous video. <laughs> anyway, let's take another nice deep breath here. And then the last step is moving to location number seven, which is the pad of the toe. See if I can lift it up that high. There. Holding the tip of the toe. Um, taking a few breaths here, allowing for energy to descend all the way down. And this is a great flow for hot flashes, neck, deafness, pain in the ear, and I'll be flying tonight. So if I have any discomfort or ear popping, I will be practicing the small intestine flow. Swimmer's ear. Um, also for hair, if, if, you, if you are losing your hair, or if, um, if, you know, if you worry a lot and you lose your hair, then small intestine can be helpful. Speech impediments, deafness, also for upper arm pain. The energy moves, starts in the little finger and then moves here through the shoulder to the other side. And then down, crossing again to the other side. The quick hold is holding the the little finger here so you can just let go of the flow now and hold your little finger just take a note of which one feels more comfortable for you this is also um, good if you feel the beginnings of rheumatism and also blood spots on the outer skin some people have these little red dots this flow is good for that Okay, let's briefly practice the other side. So 11 and 13, take three breaths here. You can always practice one side or both sides, whatever you feel called to do. Just showing it again so you remember. By the way, this flow is in the Art of Junshin. In this book, if you don't have it yet, you can get it on Amazon. And then from 13, moving to the one, take three breaths. Very nice. And then to the big toe, location number seven. So 11 and seven from the shoulders to the big toe. Inhale with 11 and exhale with seven. Exhale and inhale. When you're at the tip of the toe, the exhale becomes the inhale and there's a moment of stillness. So enjoy the moment of stillness and be in the present moment right here and right now, because that's all that we have anyway. So let's end by holding our little finger again. <sighs> Jinshin is wonderful art to share with friends, family, Loved ones, um, you can share the finger holds, simple and easy. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please, I'm inviting you to subscribe, like the videos, bringing some activity to our community. And, you know, again, I thank you so much for joining. And I will see you next week. <laughs>